is you're a hater little bitch that's an incel living in your mom's basement. You've not achieved shit in your life. And half of these... You ever see somebody who's about to get into a car crash? Or you know it's going to end poorly, right? I don't know what these guys at Black Rifle Coffee are thinking. And, you know, who am I to judge? I wade into the shitstorm that was Black Rifle Coffee, where he deals with the New York Times interview, and I thought, well, people make mistakes, right? Well, they have this Drinking Bros podcast, which I guess are some Black Rifle Coffee guys, and I thought, have your opinions, but remember now, they are a business, and all of a sudden they just keep doing it, and just keep doing it, and I don't know... Maybe the drinking part of the podcast, they need to cut it out. Let's keep watching. There's like that fat Alex Jones down the road here. And by the way, I'm going to publish his fucking address soon. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, talking all this shit about no <laughs> him. All that shit about no We, number one, we have nothing to hide. Number two. So here we go, right? So I don't know who these guys are. Another part of Black Rifle Coffee. And they represent it, right? So now you're going to dock somebody else. You just why? Why Black Rifle Coffee? Why put this out? Is this good for your brand? I just don't get it. I'm not a doxing guy. I think this is all a bunch of bullshit to begin with. You know, if you lie with dogs, you get fleas. They do an interview in New York Times. Whatever. Who gives a shit? I figure it'll go away, right? Peacefully. Oh, no. This piece comes out. I, and the guy on the right's pissed. I get it. I don't get the doxing and acting like it's just a bro vet, I guess. And he's probably a good man. But this is a bad look. It was like we had this adaptive athlete shoot that Evan designed that he's mm. so excited about. He's like, well, shit, come talk about this. Like that we are bringing out all these amputees that have now gotten into. Yeah. So it was like, hey, our thought process wasn't essentially like, yeah, the New York Times sucks. Like, which, yeah, their business model is controversy and sinking fucking ships. And getting well, all, the right everybody can, yeah, and getting yeah. people to fucking fight. And and the, the, the statements that a lot of people are... <laughs> I don't want to get into why they did the New York Times. If you do it, you got to realize there's going to be some pushback from the New York Times. Your name is Black Rifle Coffee. Some of your brands are like AK-47 something. As much as you think they're going to like you, or as much as you get up and make money, right? God bless them. They don't like you. You're not part of the club yet. And maybe they will be. Maybe that's their goal. I don't know what the hell they're doing but with the guy with the doxing and talking smack and so and so's an incel and it gets better let's keep going we're mad about evan was making uh from a direct question that was what do you think about the people you lost as customers after back in november when the whole kyle rittenhouse thing hit? and man from our perspective like again changing that perspective mm. we faced crazy attacks from proud boy factions they were now, I don't know what was said during the Kyle Rittenhouse thing. I mean, I get the whole, you know, I don't really get into the military drama bullshit. I leave that to other people, but I'm into it now. But you're, I'm a coffee company, right? That's what I do. Why would I want to alienate any people who buy my coffee? I just don't understand why you have a disavow, avow, even comment on any topic. You know, if something bad happens, you say that's horrible. I hope that never happens again. But getting into these delicate areas, it, it's a no win. These guys know better, they're a business. In deciding, you know, they started being a veteran owned, and I guess veteran purchased coffee, which is great. But now it seems like there's too many cooks in the kitchen with this podcast. And the guy on the right, or the guy with the, without the hat, he just, it's a bad look. He's probably a great dude, and if, you know, I don't want to hear it in the comments because I don't really give a shit. He's probably an awesome dude. But this was a bad look. Maybe the Drinking Bros podcast concept's a bad idea. Incredibly racist and anti plenty of screenshots and videos of the coordinated attacks going in on Telegram and all this it's shit. Still like signal like, Telegram all yes, over the place. Yeah. There, was, there was this giant, and, and before that, I want, I want to also paint the picture. Prior to the incident that happened in November, I used to argue with all my left friends that called, that called conservatives racist because I thought they were just making this up. Then I got targeted by that group of people and went, it opened my eyes of, oh my God, this exists. I didn't know it exists because they left me alone. Because of well, it's also, uh, it's also a very... I, I still don't want, understand why they're wading into this pool. People that are racist are bad. Now we get into the weeds of who's racist, if you're part of whatever group, you're racist. I don't even know all the groups because they get hijacked. So the group 
starts off, it's gonna be a man's club that goes drinking. Next thing you know, it becomes something else. Next thing you know, you get attached to another deal you don't believe in. You can't disavow everybody because now they're disavowing things that one random group picked up. Like if you have an okay symbol, that means something. That means okay. That's what that means. It doesn't mean anything else. <laughs> small. It's, a, it's very yeah. small. Um, and that's while. what Evan was referring to. He was like, the customers that we lost, I would pay to leave because I don't want them associated with me. He was not calling conservatives rump racist. He wasn't saying anything. We were talking about, hey, we don't want shitty people to it, associate this, with our brand. This that's is, pretty fucking cut and dry. This, this is the okay, customers aren't associated with, they buy your product. Like if I sell tires, Michelin tires, I don't associate myself with my customers. They use my tires, great. What they do with them is not my business. I don't know if there was a relationship, maybe I don't understand. Maybe I'm not getting this point, but if I'm a coffee company and I have people who wear my gear and they do something bad, I go, well, I just, you know, I'm not engaged with anything that's terrible. I don't, it's not my jam. But having to get to this level of detail, it sounds like, it just sounds like a millennial thing. And I don't know if they're millennials. I mean, who, why, who gives a shit? what customers do with your coffee. That's not your problem. Your problem is to make good coffee, sell it to people. Stay out of this other crap. Conversation. Uh, so what do you think about racists? Um, yeah, racist, I don't like that. Racists can go f themselves. Yes. What are you saying, I'm racist? Oh, yeah. fuck you, oh, Chris. And then, and then no. they, they twist this stuff. The, the, the reporter was in the art room. There is a bunch, there is thousands, 3,000 different designs. You've seen Gary's office. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. it's a it's 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 a masterpiece of fucking I've seen of, it's of amazing yeah, yeah. yes so there is a rough. pile that says it just seems like they're digging a hole further just let it go like no one believes in racism if they do you don't associate with them but you're selling coffee they're not you're not hanging out with them at the church picnic I just am I missing something guys tell me maybe I'm missing it if I'm selling coffee how do I associate with my customers are they hanging out with them I can't go on with this thing. I mean, it's like the Eddie Gallagher checking the pin description where he gets on, gets acquitted, I believe, or gets out. Trump does something, gets him off. And then he goes on a podcast and says, basically, he did all these things. It's like, just know when to shut the fuck up. Move on from it. And you, you're splitting hairs too much here. Race, uh, just let it go. Stop with the bro vet podcast and drinking and doxing Alex Jones. I'm not a fan or dis fan of Alex Jones. Guy's got a right to have his own opinion. But saying he's an incel in the base with fat fingers and he hasn't been in the military, you're gonna dox him, it's just a bad look, man. Why would we look into it before we launch it? Because we don't want Black Rifle Coffee as a brand added to a banned item on the DOD's list, saying 